Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have four brands of batteries which I have purchased from common retail shops. I'll be testing the capacities of the batteries to see if they're actually worth their price. All of these batteries are AA size and are alkaline batteries, but as you can see they are of different prices, different packaging and unknown capacities and this is exactly what we are going to measure today. So I'll be discharging each battery at three different discharging rates to measure the maximum capacities. Before we get started, just a quick disclaimer that this video is not sponsored by any of the products used. Now, there are so many brands to buy and I want to figure out which is actually worth my money. And I know that a lot of you are curious too, so I really hope this video is useful. So let us get started! First up is our Duracell Alkaline Batteries. I've purchased them from Bunnings Warehouse. They cost $15 for 25 cells or 60 cents per cell. Next is the Coles Batteries. They are for $5 for 10 batteries, which makes 50 cents per cell. Toshiba Batteries. I have purchased them from the Reject Shop. $5 for 10 batteries or 50 cents per cell. Chevron Alkaline Batteries. I have purchased them from Woolworths. They cost $5 for 10 batteries or 50 cents per cell. This discharger stops discharging when voltage gets down to 0.9 volts. At that voltage, the battery is below its useful voltage. Equipment will usually stop working at that voltage. We start with 100 milliamp discharge rate. This rate is similar to the discharge rate of a common transistor radio. This is considered to be a low discharge rate. We put in the first battery, then set the mode to discharge. Then we set the discharge rate, and then we start discharging. I put in the second battery and set the same discharge rate. Process is repeated for the remaining two batteries. Now all the batteries have stopped discharging. From each, we will collect information from the discharger. Now we set the discharge rate to 500 milliamps, which is similar to the discharge rate of a regular torch light, and we repeat the test. Now, we set the discharge rate to 1000 milliamps, which is similar to the discharge rate of a regular camera, and we repeat the test again.
Let's have a look at the capacities of the different batteries. At a 100 milliamp discharge rate, Toshiba takes first prize with a 1820 milliamps an hour capacity, with Duracell coming a close second. For both 500 milliamps and 1000 milliamps discharge rates, Duracell comes out on top with Toshiba just missing out. Here is the graph showing the cost of each battery per 1000 milliamps an hour. At a 100 milliamp discharge rate, Toshiba was the clear winner at 27 cents per 1000 milliamps an hour. At a 500 milliamp discharge rate, Duracell and Toshiba were tied at the best value at 39 cents per 1000 milliamps an hour. Now at 1000 milliamps discharge rate, it's a close call with Toshiba at 48 cents per 1000 milliamps an hour and Duracell just missing out by one cent.